Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back tonight for another video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. Now today, guys, I want to go over a number of things, including this strange skin that we just got. His arms literally flop around like noodles. We're going to dive into that and much more involving the storyline and the castle. If you could do me a favor and drop a like down below and subscribe, that'd be amazing. I really appreciate your support. I'm running a V-Buck giveaway from now until the end of the year. It's super simple to enter. If you want to win free V-Bucks, just click the link in the description below and just take two seconds and enter the giveaway. Trust me, it's worth it. Shout out to these legends who have recently used my supported creator code in-game. If you're ever buying any skins or any V-Bucks or anything at all, make sure to use my code when purchasing and send me a screenshot for a shout out in an upcoming video. I really appreciate your guys' support. It helps me out tremendously. So let's talk a little bit about this skin that just came into the game. It's called Fish Stick, and if you look at the guy's picture, Oh boy, where do I start with this one? This is basically, at least in my mind, a huge meme. I mean, this guy looks so ridiculous. Look at his right arm. It's literally just flopping around. I mean, I guess he is a fish and it makes sense, but gee, arms are not supposed to look like that. It's only 1,200 V-Bucks, so it is one of the cheaper skins you can find in-game. He actually has a full set with a glider and an axe too. Personally, I'm not a fan of either. And I'm not really necessarily a fan of the skin in terms of, you know, quality, because it's not really that great. I just think it's funny. It's just kind of a joke, you know? It's so ridiculous looking, I had to pick it up. I know this is super random, but, like, the number one thing that intrigues me about this skin is the fact that you can see him blink his eye when you're playing. Like, his eyes are so spread apart on his head that you can literally see him blink. If you pay attention in the gameplay, you'll notice it. He starts blinking his eyes a little bit, and I just think it's the most ridiculous thing ever. But nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about this skin. It's also worth pointing out that he is a fish. What do fish do? They swim in water. And... You know, I'm not saying it is confirming anything, but I'm saying it definitely does help the theory that we've had for a while that I've made videos on here on my channel regarding a potential flood when the ice melts. There have actually been a number of things in the game that people are taking as hints for an aquatic theme season. For season 8, uh, the theory of course is that ice is going to melt. A huge hint in my mind is the fact that there's a submarine sitting in the uh, snow biome in the southwestern corner of the map just perched up on a huge ledge and there's no way it got up there naturally clearly something put it up there so i'm excited to see what happens in the future just thought it was worth pointing out you'll notice that today when you logged on the map was no longer covered in snow in case you missed it in case you didn't play on christmas day this is what the map looked like it was a white christmas snow was everywhere and it was awesome Quite frankly, I was pretty shocked that they took away the snow after only one day, considering we are still right in the thick of the holiday season. Just because Christmas is over doesn't mean the holidays are, so I was pretty surprised that they took it out as quick as they did. I thought it would stick around for at least until 2019, but I was wrong, and it's kind of unfortunate because I loved the map like that, and I'm sure a lot of you guys thoroughly enjoyed it as well. In the comment section down below, I want to know if you guys played on the Christmas map. Who was an exclusive member of the club who got to play on that map? I won't lie to you, it was amazing. It was awesome, and I, God, I can't believe they took it out as early as they did. I remember I was dead asleep on Christmas morning, super early at like 1 a.m., and then I got a notification saying the map was covered in snow. I was instantly up and playing because that's how hyped I was. It's crazy how it was instantaneously snowy and then instantaneously not. That's interesting. And they didn't even need to roll out an update for that map to change in such a drastic way. I thought surely there would be some kind of an update, even if it was just a very small one. But sure enough, they were able to push out a hotfix that contained the map. I guess the map was already in the game's coding, so it was a little bit easier. That's a good transition into my next point and my next topic, which is talking about the castle and the melting process going on there. Much the same way that Epic rolled out this hotfix to make the map snowy pretty much instantly, they've also been silently rolling out hotfixes or slight, very small updates that don't require any downtime that have been chipping away at the castle, slowly but surely. Allow me to explain. So these pictures are courtesy of Fort Tory over on Twitter. You can see the ice is indeed melting. There are before and after pictures, you know, with timestamps too. Right there in that big picture, you can see there are clear staircases that are covered up by the snow, but they have been melting. 
based on the last few days especially, there have been ice changes that have been melting. You can see, especially in this picture, compared from the 26th to the 23rd, more and more is getting revealed. And it's going very slow. Nobody's talking about it because nothing is getting revealed. Nothing major is getting shown. But nonetheless, the ice is continuing to melt. The snow is continuing to melt. And the castle is getting more and more exposed. I think the main reason no one has really talked about the recent meltings going on at the castle is because, you know, when it first melted, the first two stages, uh, it was pretty drastic, you know? At first, we had just one little room at the top, and then there was an update, and then we had some more areas to explore, and then the 7.1 update came along, and even more got exposed, but now they've been melting at a much slower pace, much slower than what we've been used to. So naturally, people are going to write it off unless something bigger happens. And you know, I think that's kind of how Epic would prefer it. They would prefer if people weren't constantly hawking over that castle and trying to figure out what's going on because they have a lot of secrets planned. We all know what's down there. They want to keep it a secret, but we know there are dragon eggs. There is a lair. There is a dungeon of some sort. And it's obvious that the castle is going to continue to go straight down as the ice melts because of the staircases that are covered up. You can tell it's on the way down. Epic's doing all sorts of stuff like adding the new winter map only for a day, but still, they've also got the 14 days of Fortnite going on with new rewards every single day. You know, players are interactive there and they're trying to keep the attention off of the castle at least that's what it seems like to me personally and if not why are they having the castle start to melt at such a slower rate so much slower in fact probably like two percent of the normal rate after they've already shown to us and proven to us that they're capable of having it melt much much faster i saw something really really interesting as it relates to the castle on reddit and i thought i would share it with you and now it could mean nothing or it could mean something, I'll leave it up to you. But essentially, the Red Knight, the Squire, and the Black Knight, two of those skins are from the Season 2 Battle Pass. One of them is an item shop skin. Of course, the Red Knight is the only item shop skin. But they all have shields as their back bling. And the shields have various animals on them. If you look at the Squire shield all the way on the left, there's a llama on it. And if you move a little to the right to the Red Knight shield, it's got a lion, of course, an upgrade over the llama. And then the one all the way on the right, the Black Knight shield, he has a dragon. You might be asking yourself, well, okay, that's, that's nice and interesting, but why are you telling me this, Dr. P? Well, I'll tell you. Monarchs that rule a castle, in this case, the Ice King, they usually have servants or people who are fighting for them, aka knights and squires, and that's exactly what these skins are. As you progress through the ranks from squire to red knight to black knight, of course, they get increasingly more powerful, and that's designated by the animal on the back of their shield. The llama isn't necessarily super feared, so they put him on the squire's shield because he, of course, is a novice knight. You move to the Red Knight, who is a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more experienced. He's got a Lion, which is an upgrade over the Llama. And then, of course, when you get to the max level with the Black Knight, he is decked out with the Fire Breathing Dragon. I'm wondering if it's possible that these Knights could serve for the Ice King at that Frozen Castle. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I do have evidence to support the fact that possibly of all these knights, the Red Knight could be a servant of the Ice King. Now, of course, it is possible they could all be for various reasons I've already described, and it just makes sense that knights and squires would serve at a castle, but the Red Knight has specific evidence. There is a statue of him right outside of the castle near the iceberg. Of course, he also has statues of Raven and the Love Ranger, too. And they were all a part of a bundle called the Frozen Legends Pack, which comes with all those skins uh, in a wintry kind of snowy form. To me, I think it makes a lot of sense for the knights, maybe even specifically the Red Knight, to serve for the Ice King. And I mean, the Black Knight has a dragon on his shield. I haven't even talked about that yet a whole lot. There are going to be dragons soon in the game and there are dragon eggs under the castle so that would definitely fall in line with what we already know and what we expect. Thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate you tuning in so much more than you'll ever know. It means a lot. If you want to be fully updated every time something happens in Fortnite, something big happens, go ahead and subscribe and become a part of the family and help me get closer to 400k subs. I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.